Hello my friend. Welcome to Dorothy's Kitchen. I am the original welfare queen from Pasadena, California. And I've written my life story because it was so fascinating. We used to have so many parties starting in October to January that I've written my cookbook and also my autobiography. And I'd like for you to go to the website and order my cookbook and order my autobiography and give it to friends for Christmas. Alright? Now today we're going to do uh, a easy, show you how to make an easy chicken pot pie, okay? Now I've coated the, the uh, bottom of my pan with olive oil. I got olive oil, this is olive oil in here. So I'm going to take a cup of flour and put in and then I'm going to stir it and stir it until it's brown. You want to make sure that it's brown. So we're gonna, it's gonna take about five minutes. See, so it looks like that, dark brown. Dark brown. The next thing we're gonna do is add um, two cups of chicken stock. <laughs> and one cup of this is cream of mushroom soup cream of mushroom soup and then we're going to get our our frozen peas These are peas and carrots. And you're gonna get your I'm gonna add an extra bag of peas in it. So we can have more vegetables. So Let it cook for about five minutes. And I'm going to add a cup of water. Now we're going to cut it off and uh, we're going to uh, let this cook for five minutes before I put the chicken in. Because I want the um, I want the peas and carrots to cook to cook because the chicken is already cooked. We're gonna use this is a whole chicken cut up, so we're gonna use a whole chicken, but we're gonna put it in last. We're not because it's already cooked. We just want to um, we'll put a top on it and let it cook for a minute. And if we have to add some more chicken stock, we will. Now we're gonna. Uh, this is a whole chicken deboned. And if you look at one of my older recipes, you can see how I boil a whole chicken and debone it. And so we're going to stir this in real good 
This is all parts of the chicken. We're gonna stir it in real good into the to the sauce. See? Okay. See the chicken is stirred in real good. Alright. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to see that we have um, this is a can of cheap biscuits. You can get the cheapest biscuits. You don't have to get the you get the two for a dollar or the, the cheapest ones. And this is what we're gonna do. This is how we're gonna do it. We're going to I have flour right here on my flour board on my cutting board and what we're going to do is take the biscuits out put it on the cutting board and we're going to spray our our uh, container with a uh, non stick spray see we're going to spray it real good and then we're going to dip our we're going to put it in here fill it up just about halfway. Don't fill it all the way up because you don't want it to boil out in the, it. It's not going to take long to cook in the oven. Just to the biscuits uh, bright on the top. So about 15 minutes or less. It depends on how. So you're going to just roll the, roll the dough out. And you're going to put it on the top. You Roll the dough out. And you're going to put it on the top. Just cover the top. Roll the dough out. And just put it on the top. Roll the dough out. And just put it on the top. See? There you have it. And you do each container until they full. It goes in the oven at 350 degrees until the brown, the biscuits are brown on top, and and they're done. So about 10 to 15 minutes is the longest you keep them in the oven. So but you have to watch it to make sure they don't burn because it's quick. And you do you you do all your containers. And then you f you finished. We're back with the finished product of the chicken pot pies. Now the biscuits, um, I just roll each one, but you can roll them all together and make one big sheet. But I didn't do that. You don't have to do that. But see how it looks? Yummy, 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 yummy. So good. So good. And you can get the smaller containers and make them small. Small, like a little smaller than this. You can get the little round containers from um, Walmart and make them look individual pies. Smaller than this. But I didn't have those, so I used what I had. And um, it's very good. Very, very quick. Very easy and very tasty. Happy eating for you. So good. Try it. Make your man a good meal, ladies. It's no excuse. Amen. See you next time.